you saw that I had the wing skeleton set up on the table, leveled out, clamped down and screwed down position. I think I've already shown that. What I've done is just set me up a little temporary table out here that I'm going to use to handle flat sheet. Now when I originally did this, I'm sure I unbolted the, um, the wing skeleton from the table and then I would have gone back through and um, did the work I was going to do on the wing skin, then re-leveled the, the skeleton and all that good stuff. What I've done this time is just left it set in position, which I plan on doing through the rest of this as long as the weather holds and doesn't you know, get nasty to where I can still work out here. So what I've done is just set up a temporary table. I've got the wing skin laid out. I've already gone back and marked where the ribs went so I can uh, lay out the rivet positions on those and I'll pre-drill those for each of the wing ribs. Like I say, I've got the, the verticals marked out there. And I'm going to go ahead and lay out the rivet spacing along the top that will uh, rivet into the spar. And I'll drill those. Once I get those drilled number 40, and I've got to go back first and lay out where the rivets go down each, each skin. There's 14 rivets on a uh, pitch 50 coming down. First one's 25 uh, millimeters down. So I'm going to lay out those and probably lay out all the way fully on the ribs, all the way back to where they go here. Then I'll go back and pre-drill all of those and then go drill and cleco that to the wing skeleton. Once I've done that, then I'll go back and I've got the uh, rear spar. I'll lay those out and drill those once it's riveted into position, or clecoed into position, the rest of it's clecoed into position. And then I've also got two bays for fuel tanks that I'll have to go out and lay out and drill those. So I'm going to lay out, drill and cleco the rest of it, or uh, lay out, drill them, and cleco them back on the skin, then go back and do those. I'm going to have close to eight hours in this skin getting it to the position where I would have it if I would have bought in a kit. So I think I probably got at least four to six hours, probably about six hours in, uh, in just this skin to get it to the position it would be or the, the status it would be if I had bought a kit or bought this wing skin. So anyway, that's the difference between scratch building and kit building. And uh, you know, I enjoy this. There's a lot more things that could go wrong. You know, you miss, you mess up on you where you drilled your skins and or where you drilled your holes to attach it and you screwed up a sheet of aluminum and a whole lot of time. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and lay it out. Uh, like I say, lay out the rivet lines across the top and then lay out all the rivets for each, each uh, rib. And uh, I'm going to go back through and verify where those are as I lay them out and make sure that they're actually in their proper position. Now here's just a little handheld action. This is all the lines laid out on each of our ribs for all the rivets. And we've got the main spar, or the, yeah, the main spar, the front spar, is all marked out. I've marked out the rear spar, but I'm not going to drill it yet. I'm going to go ahead, because I've got to uh, come back and drill for the fuel tank webs. And there'll be some wing tips and stuff, so we'll go ahead and just drill the ribs in the front spar. Well, I've got all the holes drilled that I'm going to drill for now. These are all piloted number 40 until I uh, get it set up on the, on the wing. I'm going to go ahead and drill and click it in place. Then we'll verify our, our uh, rear spar line and uh, lay out our uh, rear tank cross members there. One thing I will say about this Kaiser aluminum, and I said before this is the first time I've used it, I think it's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I do notice that with the red ink that's on it, it's tremendously harder to clean off. You know, I've got a lot of residue left on here, and I've already gone through several paper towels and a fair amount of acetone. Well, good afternoon, guys. Next day from when we were working on the skins. So, we're going to go ahead and get this skin drilled and clecoed in place, and hopefully by the end of the day I should have the uh, this top skin pretty much fitted up with the exception of trimming the ends and things like that. So, um, changes along the way. So, anyway, let me move this down just a little bit. The, uh, the skin is pilot drilled at each rib and full length down the main spar. So, I've not drilled the rear spar yet. I've not drilled the two mounts or two ribs that go across ways here for the tank bays. Um, 
not drilled the trailing edge. Got a little bit of drilling to do out there on the on that end rib. And I still have to install this end rib. Now this rib was cut. And it's already all fitted. It mounts right underneath the, the skin in that position. The front is not drilled from the, the last rib on out to the end because I'll drill it when the nose rib goes on. Those two uh, rib it together and I don't believe there's any other support in between those. So there's, there's the wing tip does not really engage or it doesn't engage the, the uh, top skin at all. It sits farther forward. So with those exceptions why we're ready to start drilling I've got it pretty much in position. Actually, I've got it exactly in position. I'm going to all verify everything. But um, I'm going to go ahead and drill and Cleco with number 40, with a number 40 drill and small Clecos. Then they'll get back, go back and have to open them up to A4s. But for now, what I'm going to do is I've, uh, I've got it far enough forward. It's duct taped in position here, and I've got one little clamp back on that trailing, or on the, yeah, on the trailing edge on that end. So what I'm going to do is just verify everything. I want to start from the front of the wing, so I'll do the spar first, and then I want to work down these ribs just so I've got a little bit of room for alignment. And I think I'm going to start at the center rib right here. So that, uh, that, and then work both ways. So that's what we're doing. You know, I don't know how much you're going to really be able to see of it. We'll kind of center you up and uh, give a little bit of it, but not going to be a whole lot to see. We're just drilling and, and installing Clecos. Everything has been drilled and clecoed with the exception of 
this rear rib which I have to install yet, the holes along the front and the holes at the back of the rear spar that go into the rear spar there. Everything else has been drilled with a number 40 drill bit and Clico to 332nd uh, Clicos and I'm going to have to order some more Clicos. I'm just about out. I could rub some more out of the other wing but I just need to order another hundred or so. Um, so after probably about oh I haven't tallied since yesterday afternoon but after probably about nine or ten hours why I have a skin that is fitted to the top of the rib which is about the equivalent of what you would have gotten from Zenith had you just ordered a, a kit or ordered a wing skin because it would have been would have been pre-drilled and uh, CNC'd out off of their router I was assuming and uh, the wing tip would probably have been cut too but other than that why that's the difference in scratch building as opposed to to kit building you know you buy a kit and uh, now they've reached the level where they're pre-drilled and match drilled and all that good stuff so basically you just have to open them up and, and do it. Now see I've got it to this point I have to go back and um, finish laying out the rest of this so I'll take it apart and do a little work on it, attach this rear rib figure out my spacing for that down there then I'll reattach it again and then we'll start drilling it on out to uh, A4 rivet size so which will be a number 30 drilled in. Then we have to take it off and I have to deburr both sides of each of the holes both in the skin and in the ribs that I that I drilled. So only about another you know thousand holes or so you know by the time you uh, deburr both sides. I have installed this last piece of spar in the back end that we were missing that goes underneath here and we have drilled and clecoed all of the holes, or all the holes are drilled and everything's clecoed in place with 532nd clecos. So this is virtually all the holes that are going to go in the skin with the exception of all the trailing edges. And we're going to have rivets along here. Once we trim the nose later on, why then we'll have the, the row of rivets there. And a few little pieces down there, but at this point in time for everything that we can drill, it's already been drilled. So now I'm just going to go back, open these all up to 8th inch which is A4 size rivets and uh, I'll open them all up, exchange them out for 8th inch Clecos then I'm going to pull it back off one more time and I think I'll probably go ahead and deburr the skin and the ribs both sides I'm not going to apply corrosion protection yet because it'll still things will be moved around enough and it's going to be shifted enough that we'll probably have some scratches and things like that, some markings on them so we'll just wait to apply, apply corrosion protection until later and once we get those opened up and deburred, we'll put the skin back on. I've got to clamp all my little clamps off the table. It'll get Clecoed back in place, and then the whole skin will be rolled over, ready for the bottom uh, skin and the uh, and the nose skin. This is what you deal with when you don't have enough space, but that's okay, we'll make it through.
is the all the holes drilled that we're drilling for now. So now we're going to take the Clicos back out again, roll the skin up, take it out and put it on the other table, and we'll start deburring stuff. So that's the that's the process. Okay, we're done with that. I already got the skeleton un unclamped from the table. Got this skin all deburred. I'm going to brush it off, clean it off, flip it over, clean the other side, which is this is the bottom side, and then we're ready to clean it back on.